Today we will be learning about the units for measuring weight in the customary system. Let's get started. The nice thing about units for weight in the customary system is that there are only three that we are going to focus on. The ounce is the smallest unit for weight and it is actually really, really small. In fact, it's hard to find things that only weigh an ounce. Two things you might know that weigh close to an ounce or two are a pencil and a slice of bread. The next larger unit is the pound. A large apple weighs about one pound and so does a baseball. The largest unit we will focus on is the ton. There is a huge jump in unit size between a pound and a ton. Some things that weigh about one ton are a Volkswagen Beetle and a black rhinoceros. I hope you don't run into one of them anytime soon. That reminds me of a riddle I once heard. Which weighs more, a ton of feathers or a ton of bricks? The answer is neither. They both weigh a ton. However, you would need a lot more feathers to reach a ton than you would bricks. With there only being three units, there isn't too many conversions we have to remember. There are 16 ounces in every pound, and there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. That's a lot of weight for such a small word. Let's try some problems together. In this problem, we're going from 64 ounces to pounds. In my conversion chart up here, I see that 16 ounces equals one pound. That means that ounces are a smaller unit and pounds are a larger unit. Therefore, I will need less or fewer pounds than I would need ounces. So my answer should be smaller than the number I'm starting with, which means I'm going to be dividing. So if there are 16 ounces in every pound, I would need to take 64 and divide it by 16. I can't get any groups of 16 out of 6, but I can get 4 groups of 16 out of 64. In fact, I can get exactly 4 groups of 16 out of 64. And that means that my answer would be 4. Before I write that up there though, if I'm not really comfortable dividing by a 2 digit number, I could always start counting away. So here I know I'm starting with 64, and uh, each time I need to take away a pound, I would be subtracting 16 of those ounces, giving me 48 for the first pound. And I could subtract another 16, giving me 32, that was my second pound. Subtract another 16, it's my third pound, and subtract another 16 until I get down to zero. And that's going to give me my fourth pound. So don't talk yourself out of it. If it's something that the math is a little bit challenging, just find another way around it. That's what I love about math is that there are so many different ways you can do the same problem. Now I feel comfortable writing my answer up here. Uh, my answer is four pounds. 64 ounces equals four pounds. Let's move on to the next problem. Don't forget, if you have your journal sheet there, you should be writing down the answers to these problems as well as showing the work that you would do to get them on your journal sheet. Let's continue with this next problem. Here we have, we're starting with five pounds, three ounces, and we're moving to ounces. This one is broken up where we have some pounds and we have some ounces. Now luckily, the ounces here match my final unit. So I'm going to forget about them for a minute and I'm going to work on um, converting the five pounds. So I'm just gonna underline this because I'm gonna come back to it. So now that I'm looking at five pounds and I need to look at whether it's larger or smaller. So here I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, which means I should have a lot more ounces than I should pounds. So I'm gonna be multiplying. Up here I can see again that there are 16 ounces in each pound. So I'm going to be multiplying five, the five pounds that I have, by 16. And when I do that, I get the answer of 80. That means there are 80 ounces in five pounds. However, I can't forget 
this three ounces that I have up here. So I'm gonna have to take that 80 and I'm gonna have to add the three back in, giving me a grand total of 83 ounces. All right, let's do one more together and then I'm gonna have you do two on your own. And in this next problem, I'm going from 5,000 pounds to a grouping of tons and pounds. Um, I know that pounds is a smaller unit than tons, so I'm going to have fewer tons than I will pounds. And if I look up here, there are 2,000 pounds in each ton. So I know that I should be dividing 5,000 divided by 2,000 because I'm going to a smaller number. However, that, those those are quite large numbers, and even though I can cross off zeros and divide them, sometimes I'm, I'm not always going to have that many zeros, and I might not want to be dividing by a four-digit number. So I'm going to solve this one a little bit differently. I'm going to take and kind of count up instead. So if I know that there are 2,000 pounds in each ton, I have 2,000 pounds, I actually have 5,000 pounds. So if I take that 5,000 pounds and I take away one ton, that leaves me with 3,000 pounds. And 3,000 is still greater than 2,000, so I can take out another ton, another 2,000 pounds, giving me two tons, and I will still have some left over. When I take that 2,000 away, I am left over with 1,000. Now, there is not enough poundage there to get back up to another ton. 1,000 pounds is not enough to make another ton. So here, I'm going to see in my answer, I have two tons, but I'm still going to have those pieces of that pounds left over. So I would end up with two tons and 1,000 pounds. Now let's see if you can do some on your own. Now it's time for you to do two on your own. For this first one, you're going to be converting three tons into pounds. Tons is a larger unit than pounds is, so you're going to need a lot more pounds than you have tons, which means you're gonna be multiplying. And if you see up here, you have 2,000 pounds equals one ton, that should give you a big clue on how to start this problem. Go ahead and pause the video while you solve the problem on your journal sheet, and then unpause it when you're ready to check your work. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to pause the video and to solve the problem. We are gonna go over it at this time. So here I have my three tons, and I know there are 2,000 pounds in each of those tons. So I'm going to be multiplying three times 2,000. And when I do that, I'm going to get my answer of 6,000 pounds. Hopefully you got that correct. Let's try another one. In this problem, you're converting four pounds, two ounces, to just ounces. Go ahead and pause the video while you solve the problem, and when you're ready to check your answer, go ahead and unpause the video. Okay, hopefully you had an opportunity to complete your work. So here again, I'm looking at four pounds. Pounds is a larger unit than ounces, so I'm gonna have more ounces to make up that amount. Um, my two ounces here matches my unit over here, so I don't have to convert that. All I wanna focus on right now is converting the four pounds to ounces. Up here, I can see that there are 16 ounces in each pound, so I'm first going to be multiplying those 16 ounces by four because I have four pounds. And when I multiply 16 ounces by four pounds, I'm going to get 64 ounces. But I can't forget about the other two ounces that I have up here because I still need to add them back in. So I can take those 64 ounces and I'm going to add those two ounces back in and it's gonna give me my final answer of 66 ounces. Hopefully you had that correct. In this lesson, we learned how to convert customary units used for weight. 
Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you next time.